Traders, once again, welcome to today pressure. This is free as the channel. Thank you once again for your subscription to the channel, your contribution, and also all your comments you have made. All this one contributed immensely for the continued design of this energy channel. I want to assure you that this is the only channel that you have all you need. And for those of you who have questions, ask questions about the energy patterns, the different things, the some other things. I am asking a question one after the other, and also if your question is not answered in time, please you have to bear with us because we are researcher and also have what that is doing. In today, I'm going to discuss uh, very, very intensively on how you can reduce costs in building 15. KV8 free generator. Today I'm going to focus on how you can discuss because it is the desire of every free energy design engineer to discuss whatever you cannot do to discuss of your production is not as effective. And I have seen people complaining about the high cost of materials. And some have said, oh, uh, so engineer, I want to design 200 kb air. How would I want and what do I require? I want to design 100 kb generator. What I want to require? I have a, a cost all over the wall. But I want to tell you that every design you want to make uh, determine the cost what you will spend. For instance, we have three energy generators here. You have this, you have this, and you have this. In all this, you can see that designs are different. And with this kind of design, the cost also will differ. For instance, in this area, this one, there is no flyway. You only see the motor and the generator. That is why I say the materials you are using in constructing the French generator determine the cost. The material you are using determine the cost. If what you are using is the type of material that requires a high cost, then you don't expect something no more than that. Like I am using something like this and something like this. If you are designing this kind of energy, definitely you should not expect a much cost because you know why you only need two things here what you need is the motor and the generator simple design you don't need everything just motor and generator and with this you can this you can run your energy comfortable depends on what you want to do is about what you want to produce so this is a simple design i'm talking about now the same way applicable to this place this one here has here alternator and the motor simple there's no flower somebody may ask sir if I use alternator and the motor, will I still have energy production? Yes, you still have. It is not the flyway that produces the light. I've said it over the question, I say it is not the flyway. What produces the light is the speed that the motor can run. The speed that the motor can run, that can run, that affects the generator. So if the motor can run in high speed, the generator at very high speed, Definitely, you can still have light. The flyway. Perhaps some people ask question: How many kV flyway can I use? No, flyway. You are only using flyway in a case of kinetic energy. You are trying to store energy so that in the process of switching over, you will not have a breakdown. So that's where flyway is needed because flyway to help you to play that role very well. When you are doing the switching over from the standard power source that enable you to run the motor. To internal power source, which is the generator power. That's where, that's where you have this design now. This one you have here, this flyway. This is the motor and the generator. Why do we have this? Because if you are, the energy is running, if the generator is running, between the, pro, between the period of switching over from this, that enable this uh, generator to produce light. Uh, sorry, the external pass that enable this motor to turn. In that process of switching over from external pass source to internal pass source, 
the flyway will store, it will enable, it will use, it will store or it will maintain. Let me say what maintain. It will it will maintain the temporal energy, the temporal speed, the temporal turning that you will enable you to switch over. That is why sometimes we talk about the flyway in the area. But that does not mean that if a flyway is not introduced on a generator just like what I have here now, therefore you cannot have light. No, you will surely have light. Because you know why? If this generator is being plugged and the, the power source that enables you to spin the generator and there's and maybe in a configuration way over definitely there will be light because what we require mostly in light generation is just two things you need the motor and the what the alternator these are the two busy things you will need if you want to produce like two busy things every other thing is just a complementary just complement the generator for instance the bed just complement it enable you just to join the two things together just like what ha I have here now this one you see the bed it just complement it just enable this and this to join but in the case where I can join this motor and this one without the bed the motor can still run the generator can still produce light because it is not the bed that made the light possible but it is the the ability for the the this alternator to rotate that make light produce so that is where I am trying to talk about so for you to reduce cost you must cut down the materials use you must what cut down your materials and for you to do that you must consider three things number one you must consider the alternator use the alternator the size of the alternator is very important because if you are going for 200 kV, somebody sent me a test a few days ago to say, Engineer, I want to produce 500 kV generator. How much the cost? 500 kV generator is not just simple. And you don't expect little cost. You are almost producing half megawatts. So you expect a high cost. I have asked, why don't you go for something smaller? First, go for 150 and 20 first. Why do you go for 500 kVA? It's a very high generator and it will require a high cost. And most of the time, people don't even try little things first before they move bigger. Just go ahead and be bigger things when you know they can do small things. So you, first of all, start from small get the the experience you need the corrections you need to make on along the way of a construction then you never go to bigger so the mat the alternator is also matters a lot for instance now you can see the alternator now this is a little alternator is but i think it's one of the smallest the cost of this alternator now it would not be as high as this one i have here the cost of purchase, the cost of every will not be a hassle this one because look at this one is big and therefore the cost will be high. So if you are going for alternator, you must also consider the cost. If you are going to buy a alternator, you consider the cost of the alternator. Then secondly, you are going to cover the motor size. The motor size also matters a lot. If you are going for new motor, you are going for Belgian motor, you are going for China motor, all this and one make we focus about the cost also differs. So somebody will ask which one do you recommend? I recommend all. Yes. I recommend what? All. Depend on which one your pulse can carry. Depend on which you can able to form. I don't give people an estimate of what you can be able to do. I always advise start with what you have. Start with the little money you have. So that if you have energy, it's just better for you to start with what you have, then you grow with it than for you to just say, okay, I want to build 500 kV generator when you don't have the money resources to do it. Because building energy requires money. You can't just go, this battery can't just come from heaven. You must surely buy them if you're able to solve them. So start with what you have. Go for the one you can afford, the motor you can afford. Go for the alternative you can afford, and then the flyway, as I say, is optional. 
if you don't have the money for flower, you can change the pattern. You have different pattern of energy generator because somebody asks what kind of sort of can use, what kind of pattern you can use any pattern. Any one that is fit for you, you can use it. You must not necessarily copy that person's pattern. Most important that the light is being produced. We have different vehicles pattern, we have messages their own pattern of design, we have Toyota different design pattern, we have also the us Ford different pattern, we have BMW different pattern. So all these vehicles have different and but the question is that they all move. So what am I trying to say? You can choose your own pattern. Yes, you can choose your own pattern. I see different patterns of energy design in the YouTube. But you can also use your own pattern, the one that fits you. You want that you know that you can able to afford the you have to take less cost. So if you're choosing your pattern, choose the one you can able to want to afford. Then that is a way you can cut down the cost of your production. Because if you use go for a pattern that is too costly, that require a lot of materials and a lot of uh, uh, equipment to buy, definitely it will affect the cost. So you go for the pattern. Then the next thing is the the, 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 the next thing you got to look at is that if after your own design of everything, then you go to what you call testing, the testing of your generator, which is very important. Then I'm going to show you some pattern of testing. I've seen, I've seen ones of that you can also use. For instance, see this pattern. It's also a simple pattern, and also you can test it in a very fun way because it's also very very nice. You can see the this pattern though. If you don't have money for this pattern, if you don't have money for this, you don't stop yourself. Go for another cheaper one. If you don't have the money to design this kind of pattern of energy system, you can go for what? The cheaper one. You must not only go for this big one, you must also go for the one you can afford because these are all different patterns. The one you can afford, you can also afford, you can use that one for your energy design. I always advise go for what you can afford. So this is a pattern. You can see it. This design is a big complex, a big uh, something bigger because it requires the wheel, it requires the uh, motor um, generator, and also the the base. When I look at this, for me, is a bit, a bit. Uh, cost a uh, complex anyway because but it depends on what you want to do and also depend on what you want the other to do because if you see this one you use it for both wedding wedding and other thing and wedding require a lot of uh, high voltage consumption rate so use it for wedding but you can go for something that you know that you can use it for your house consumption simple design simple simple design you must not go for something that is very high so to cut down your cost operation to cut down all the cost of what you want to do so you go for something that is easier for you i advise you please don't go for what you cannot use, cannot be able to produce. Well, many people like to go for big things, but they can't do small things.